Hello and welcome to our second video in our iPhone 101 video series. This video is going to be all about customizing your phone. So we're going to talk a little bit about setting this background picture as well as this lock screen picture and talking about sort of organizing your apps in a way that makes sense to you and moving them around across all of the home screen locations. So let's work on that moving around and customizing of app locations first. So as you can see, uh, the home screen sort of has space here for a 4x4 grid of app icons uh, in the main space, as well as this sort of row of four at the bottom. And as I flip between the two screens, you can sort of see that this bottom row of four apps doesn't change. So this is a good spot for apps that use a lot. So as you can see, I sort of have my texting, my email, my phone, and another app for sending text messages along my bottom four because those are four apps that I use a lot and I want quick access to them. So first let's talk about how to move these app icons to different locations on the home screen. So what I'm going to do is pick any icon on my home screen and sort of tap and hold and as you can see the icons are sort of wiggling around and for the apps that didn't come with the phone you can see that there's these little X's uh, and that actually denotes that I could delete those apps if I wanted to by tapping on the X. So while these icons are all wiggling around, uh, I can reorganize them by sort of grabbing and touching and holding and then just dragging things around and that would rearrange the location of the icon on the home screen. If I wanted to take an app and actually move it to a different screen, uh, I could tap and hold and you can see it get bigger and I can move it around and I can sort of drag to, this, to the edge and that will start giving me options to move it to a different screen of my home screen options. Uh, and then once I'm done, uh, I can tap the home screen and they stop wiggling and they're all set. And I can do the same thing just to show you real quick. I tapped and hold to make them all wiggle so I'm in my home screen customization mode. I can do the same thing to move things on and off and around this bottom sort of four special icons row. So I'm going to press the home screen and it will stop doing the customization. Uh, you can notice that I have these sort of icons that are groups of icons. So I, I can group up my different apps uh, into categories. So let's say I wanted to create a group of apps. Uh, I have here OmniFocus as well as my Reminders app. And both of those are sort of productivity list, to-do list kind of apps. So I'm going to group them together. So I'm going to tap and hold on one of my icons to bring up that wiggling home screen customization mode. And I'm going to tap and hold on OmniFocus, so that I'm sort of the one I'm moving. And I'm going to drag it to the other screen where Reminders is, and then I'm going to drag it on top of the Reminders icon. And you can see it sort of does that little light up and everything, and makes a group. Uh, and I have Reminders and OmniFocus together now. And you can see that the iPhone tries to guess by the category of the app within the App Store, uh, what sort of name we should give to that group. And both of these are categorized as productivity apps, so the home screen menu suggests the name productivity for my group. Uh, I could if I tap and hold on that. Uh, I can click the little X and erase that and name it whatever I want. Like in our case, we're going to name it test, just to name it something. And now I have a little group called test right there. Uh, and if I ever want to move them out, I can just do the same sort of thing and drag them out of the group and back onto the regular home screen. And I'm going to tap the home button to exit that customization mode. Uh, another thing that I want to show you uh, as we're scrolling through the different home screen things, uh, in case you don't normally see it, you can scroll left and right across the home screen of your icons, and if you scroll all the way to the leftmost screen you get a little search menu so that you can search through the different things on your phone which will search your all of your apps as well as your email and text messages and things like that just wanted to bring it up while I was scrolling through the home screen so the other thing that we said we were going to customize is the background image as well as the lock screen image so I'm going to go into my utilities group where I stick a lot of the sort of built-in Apple utilities that came with my iPhone and I'm going to go to the settings app and if I back up here, this is the main settings menu that you'll see when you open the settings app. I'm going to tap on wallpaper. And you can see that my wallpaper option, the only option in the menu is my lock screen and home screen wallpapers. 
Uh, and then from there, I'm going to get a menu of all of the different image sources. Uh, so let's say I wanted to pick something from my camera roll. I have lots of pictures of my son and my camera. So I'm going to just select one of him making a little Zerbert noise. And then from there, I can do some things to sort of scale and readjust and resize my picture. So I have it just the way I want it for my home screen, and then I'm going to hit set. And now I get an option to set either the lock screen, uh, which is the screen that you see with the slide to unlock when you first sort of turn on your screen, the home screen, which is the background behind your icons, or both. Uh, and I'm going to do both for this time. And now if I go back to my home screen, you can see that I have that picture that we adjusted uh, as the background for my home screen. Uh, you want to be careful when you're setting your home screen image. Uh, a lot of times I like to use some of the built-in wallpaper uh, because they're sort of easier to see uh, as a background behind my icons. So you can sort of see that, oops, tap off here, you can sort of see that that black sort of normal wallpaper backdrop is a little bit easier to see your icons. But depending on the picture that you have, those might be just as good to use too. And sort of nice to see your own photos customizing your phone. Well, thank you for watching this second video in our iPhone 101 series. Uh, in our future upcoming videos, we're going to do some videos about buying apps and getting free apps from the App Store and configuring some things on your phone, such as using your email and text messages and things like that.